Alright, welcome to the first tutorial of how to solve the Rubik's Cube. To get things started, you need to understand what the Rubik's Cube is made of. And it's made of three pieces, or parts, I guess, that make up the Rubik's Cube. So, this is called the edge piece. The edge piece is located in the middle rows. And these are the corner pieces. And the centerpiece. Centerpieces. It's important to know the centerpiece, especially because the centerpiece, no matter what you do, it doesn't move. You can't move that. So this centerpiece represents the side, the color of that side. So with this, we're trying to, in the beginning, make a white cross. I guess you can start with any side, but for now, I like to start with the white side because, I don't know, it's just the go-to and it has the nice little logo right there. But creating the white cross right here, it, just, it takes the most intuition because there's no real algorithms. I guess you can make an algorithm, but you're just trying to place these pieces in their corresponding spot then that means if this is a white piece, edge pieces. We're looking for edge pieces. The edge pieces create the white cross. But this piece right here, it's a white and a blue sided edge. So this means it has to be with the white, white side and also the blue side. So in corresponding to these two sides, that this edge piece right here belongs right here. So really to get it started, since the white side has no whites on it right now, um, you just kind of try to just put some pieces up there with the white side. So right now, if I move that up, the white piece is not with the blue side. But all you have to do is just turn it to make it now correct to the white side. Blue side, I mean. Blue and white. So you know this is in the correct spot if it's blue and white. And you're on the white and blue side. And going further, it's the easiest thing I think to do to get a piece in the correct spot is just look directly under the Rubik's Cube, the white side. You're looking at now the yellow side. And if you just look down at the yellow side, there's a piece, a white piece with the yellow side, right? But this piece you see that belongs with the red. So all you have to do is bring the white piece to the red side directly underneath the white side and just flip it on over just do a twist twice now it's there now you can see that it's in the right spot and if it wasn't in the right spot before let's say if it was right here don't bring it up to the wrong side if you already have a piece in the correct spot because that means that this is no longer in the correct spot you need to have that one there so just twist that over to the red side red just twist it under the right side you see it just twist it up and the other pieces are more just intuition I guess and you just know let's look at this piece for instance you see that this this edge piece right here is a white and a green and white and green this piece right here has to just go right here and you just look at it in relation to the pieces that you already have. So if in relation to these two pieces, this piece needs to be right here. So as long as you're across this one and on the right side of this one, you know you're on the right piece. So if you twist this, this may look like it's not no longer in the right piece. But all you're doing is twisting it so you can get it to the right spot in relation to these. So you just have to move it up and just twist it back to the right right spots. Now the white piece is with the green and the red piece is with the red and the blue is with the blue. And wow, it just became easy for us to do because this <laughs> the orange and the white edge piece is just directly under where it's supposed to be and all you have to do is turn create it create the white cross 
So after just some practice, you'll be able to just do this easily. And once you figure out the pattern, it becomes much easier.